Good morning, everybody. Um, my background is teaching occupational safety and health. So my student cohort are working adults who are attending part-time. And normally you think of students that are working adults attending a part-time course as being postgraduates. But in fact, the cohort that I teach about half of them are postgraduate and about half of them are, have never been to university before and they're all in the same class as each other. So we have the spectrum from people that left school after junior cert but might have a job of great responsibility now to people that have a PhD and they can learn a huge amount from one another. So my philosophy of teaching is that uh, of Socrates which is that a teacher is really like a midwife and that they help to bring out what is in a student and that when that comes out they can take off on their own and that at the end of the day the student or the mother actually thinks that they did it all on their own and to a large extent they did because most of the work did come from them but there was just somebody there to help and support them along the way. So I'm going to use the same analogy when we're talking about transition. The women in the room and the men that were holding their hands at the time might know that the part of labour that is called transition is the part just before birth happens. So transition is tough. It's a word that means that the move from one state to another. And we know that it is tough and we know that people need support during that. And we do provide an awful lot of support to our students. I carried out some research into our own course students and what came back was with the dropouts was that they felt they didn't get enough guidance. It was one of the factors. There were lots of other personal work, family factors, but one of the factors was that they didn't get enough guidance. And yet we provide loads of guidance to our students. So maybe we just don't put it in the right place at the right time for them. So there's an awful lot written about the transition for, into teaching, the you know transition from school leavers into university and transition from... Um, you know, even for adult students, the transition from work into university. But an awful lot of it, again, is to do with full-time students. So sometimes the part-time student, and again, maybe it's assumed that they are graduates and that they already should know all of these things, but not all <coughs> of them do. So recently, ironically, in a transition of teaching from a distance education to an online format, I had the opportunity to review every aspect of the curriculum. And one of them I looked at in particular was supports. And I took guidance from two groups of writers, one of group who were Irish, Fleming and Murphy, who worked in NUI uh, Maynooth. And I, I, tr I actually got the idea of separating the college knowledge or the tricks of the trade from the academic knowledge, because at the moment it's all kind of interspersed and we give all of the orientation stuff up front. So I got the idea of separating the two. So the resources I've ended up with for the students comprise a range of things. So there are five study skills e-lectures, they're all quite short, 11 fact sheets, one sheet back, one sheet back to back on a particular subject that students might know coming into the university. There are, um, I'm forgetting myself what's there, there are weekly workbooks and that's because it's a blended online course. So I'm, each week I give the students an idea of what the, their tasks are for that week. And there are also assignment rubrics. And the assignment rubrics are, you all use all of these resources in lots of different ways. There's nothing new about any of this. Um, but the assignment rubrics, we use them at different, the, the rubric is there, but we give them guidance at each stage so they move from using them just to decide what they need to do to get good grades in their assignment to knowing what they got because they get them as feedback so how they might do better in the future to using them from one assessment to another to decide have I learned something from the previous one can I bring it forward to peer assessment to self-assessment so they're all used in lots of different ways so so far so ordinary I can hear you thinking we all do something like that and it is ordinary, but I suppose the different things about them is that it's a package. They're all together and they're entirely separate from the discipline knowledge. And again, this is the area that students were saying, I just didn't get any guidance. And we're all going, well, you did. But they actually didn't because it was too much, too soon and up front. So what we're trying to do is to embed orientation into the curriculum and have it as a continuous process. So they're all discrete, really short resources. They don't take long to look at. The longest video is 30 minutes. The fact sheets, as I say, are one page back to back. And I use the weekly workbook to tell them exactly when they should use them. But they're also optional because at least half of the group don't need to use them and would be quite insulted, in fact, if you ask them to look at a study skills lecture. But the other group might find them useful. So they're just kind of left in the way that they're, they're all kept 24-7 in one particular place in Blackboard in the College Knowledge folder. But they're also, if an assignment is coming up, it's kind of, well, you might find it useful to look at this fact sheet or that lecture. And that happens every time it's an assignment and the students can take it or leave it. So it's not part of the core curriculum. 
in terms of impact, um, my previous research had said that students that did use study skills found benefit from it. And the impact that we've seen from this is that the majority of students are finding a benefit from it. And this is not the valid percent of those that used it. This is the percentage of people that found it helpful to learning. And surprise, surprise, the graduates are using them too. So maybe we need to give more study support to postgraduate students coming in, because transition is really tough for everybody. We know that, we've established that. So all of the things I'm talking about are well known. But there are a million reasons why adults might leave university, and lack of college knowledge should not be one of them. Thank you.